You heard clownfish? Tell me a joke. What up, all you fish tank ninjas? What we got right here is Livestock Lowdown. This is my new series that I was talking about in the first of the month video. And what it is here to do is educate you on all the different kinds of livestock there is. So fish, we're going to go over corals, plants, and even maybe or kind of some inverts. Anything considered livestock is fair game. First part of this video, we're going to go over the general care needed for these fish. This is information that is readily available and it's just common knowledge and very, um, what is the word? Stereotypical of said livestock. Second part of this video, I'm going to introduce you to another YouTuber or hobbyist that I know with personal experience with said livestock. So fish, coral, plants, and or inverts. And they're going to go over their personal experience and how it differentiated from the general uh, idea and general stuff you see online. So without further ado, Livestock Lowdown, Black Ice, Ocellaris, Clownfish, ha! Huh? So first question, how do you even get a Black Ice Clownfish? Well, let me tell you, you could buy it or the way the first people did it was breeding a black Ocellaris clownfish with a snowflake clownfish. When they did this, it kept the snowflakes patternization, if that's even a word, and increased the black on it. It gave this intense black and thus it gave the name Black Ice Ocellaris Snowflake Clownfish. These guys do better in a 30 gallon or more tank. Now I've seen them in smaller tanks and I've seen them in larger tanks. The larger isn't a problem. Smaller, I, I would suggest that for a more experienced hobbyist, if at all. But they are an amazing fish to have. They do great in pairs. Uh, anything more than that, I wouldn't suggest if you, unless you are, again, a more experienced hobbyist. And they actually end up having a symbiotic relationship with an anemone. If you get one, the odds are that they might eventually start hosting it. Now, the benefit for each, if each livestock in that situation is this. The Ocellaris clownfish gets a nice home to protect itself in against larger fish that would possibly eat it. Now, the anemone gets cleaned, gets fed, and gets protected from other animals that might eat them also, thus making a quote-unquote symbiotic relationship that is a win-win for everyone. The black ice clownfish is widely accepted as reef safe. In fact, I mean, I've never even heard it like even debated that it wasn't. So feel comfortable putting this into your reef tank and that's because it will not eat your corals, your inverts, or other fish. Now it will eat flake food, prepared food, uh, pellets, mysis shrimp, brine shrimp, almost anything you, I mean, you put it into the tank to be eaten, it will readily accept. And because of this easy transition and the easy way it is to feed and the hardiness of this fish, it is widely considered a beginner fish. So feel comfortable at any level keeping one or possibly two of these guys in your home aquarium. If you're going to get these black ice ocellaris snowflake clownfish, make sure to get them tank bred for the simple reason that it will be a hardier fish, it will accept food even faster, and it will not impact our reefs around the world. So without further ado, let's hear some personal experience from Fishy Drizzy. Yo, what is going on guys? So I guess it's my turn to talk now, right? So I've been keeping clownfish pretty much because they have been my favorite fish of all time. And they still are. Um, I think that's because when I was growing up, my dad always had clownfish because um, he always had reef tanks. And he still has a reef tank and he has clownfish in it. So growing up, I've just always noticed the clownfish. Um, and that's why I love them so much. So that leads me to um, why... They are my favorite fish. They are my favorite fish and I love them to death because one, they come in different patterns. Now I'm sure all you guys have heard of these fancy uh, clownfish names like Picasso's, Naked Clownfish, Platinum Clownfish, um, Snowflakes, Black Eye Snowflakes, all those, all those different kinds of clownfish. Um, 
I just love how they how you have so many options. Now, that leads me to another reason why I love them so much. You can get them tank raised. Now, pretty much every fancy clownfish out there is tank raised. Um, and tank raised clowns are a lot more hardy. Although they're a little a little more expensive, they are more hardy, so they will last longer. Now, another reason why I love clowns so much is because they can host anemones and because they're such a uh, great fish to have in a tank with other fish. They are extremely peaceful and get along with anything uh, in the tank. And another big um, positive about clownfish is that they do not, I repeat, they do not eat coral of any kind. But the one thing I do absolutely just dislike about clownfish, especially my clownfish, is that they get really territorial when a anemone is added. Now I experienced I experienced this a couple years ago with my black clownfish. I introduced the anemone and instantly they got territorial. They were never territorial before the anemone was added, but once it was added, I would stick my hand in the tank and instantly just boom, the female would go straight to my hand and nip my fingers, nip my hand, uh, bite my hand all that so um, same deal with these uh, my pair of clowns do the same exact thing they never did before the anemone was added but I mean that's just one thing you gotta deal with but uh, I can just suck it up and deal with it as I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of you guys can too so some advice if you're looking to purchase a pair of clowns now remember you can never add a different species of clownfish in the same tank. So you can't have Ocellaris clowns with Clarkies. You can have Clarkies with Maroons. Um, the only time you can add two different pairs of clowns is if you had like a, a humongous tank. So like over a hundred over a hundred gallons um, to where both pairs can have one side of the tank for themselves. But other than that, never add two pairs of clowns in the same tank. Just don't do it. Trust me. Um, they're gonna end up dying. A couple are gonna, a couple of them are gonna end up dying, and it's just bad. You don't want to do that. Another thing is, um, I, I recommend getting clowns as a pair. Now you don't always have to get a pair, but you can get two different clowns. So like two different os Ocellaris clowns and put them together, and they will become a mated pair. Is uh, that's what I did with these guys. These guys were in two different tanks when I bought them. I put them in the tank at the same time, and boom, mated pair. So um, it's not that hard. But I think that's pretty much the only advice I have for you guys. They are not difficult fish to care for. Um, they're hardy, especially if you have tank raised ones. Um, but that's pretty much the advice I can give you guys on clownfish. They are not difficult, like I said. Um, and I'm sure you guys will all enjoy any type of clown that you uh, choose. Um, but there it is, guys. That's what I have for you. And um, I'll see you guys later. That's the end of the video, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of fish you have an extensive amount of experience with and would like to share on this series. Hit that like button if you enjoy learning about new fish, uh, plants, corals, and or inverts. And don't forget to subscribe. I got my most ambitious month ever videos coming at you four times a week every Sunday. You're going to get something something I feel like posting. Every Wednesday, you're going to get an update on either beauty or beast. Every Friday, we got the featured hobbyist of the month, my boy Rusty. And every Saturday, we're going to be spotlighting a different product that I've ordered. Also, make sure to check out my fish tank hooligans. I'm talking about Fishy Drizzy, the Marine Master, and Danny Alano, the discus headed freak. Well, that sounded mean. And make sure to do amazing things like join the fish tank hooligan human billboard challenge. It's easy to enter. All you gotta leave is a comment on the, the video of it. And it's all for fun, guys. So just enjoy participating in it. Till next time, take like a boss, cause you're a boss. At least, I mean, I thought you were. Let me, yeah, you're a boss.